Good morning. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. Oh, first let me tell you my candles are lit out in the living room. I have them lit for Ukraine and Poland. Um, I don't light them in here because <laughs> I'm paper crazy and I'll start a fire. <laughs> I know I will. Oh. So I am i don't keep them in here. Um, I want to make a place for them so I can light them and then set them off to a safe place. But um, I light mine in the morning and they burn all day. Um, and I have a second one lit uh, for all the people that I uh, pray for. And um, anyway, so that that's where my candles are. Otherwise, they would be right in here if um, if I wouldn't burn up burn up my studio. <laughs> so, but yeah, the plan is in the making for eventually doing that. So I told you we were going to make a waterfall. Um, I've made a rather large waterfall, and the reason is is because as you create a waterfall, it gets fatter and fatter and fatter to the bottom. And I wanted to keep mine fairly flat. You can see that it's quite thick. So I have used envelopes like this that have a wide um, piece of paper back here. You don't have to do that. But that is what I've chosen to use on mine. Now these are... Um, five and three quarters by four and three eighths. And this little piece back here is two and one eighth. That little flap, two and one eighth. So um, what I did, well, let me show you this first and then I'll show you on the next one what we're going to do. So we have these little flips here. I put some lace top and bottom. And here is a journaling area. And another journaling area. And another journaling area. I put this in here for us to make today if we have time. Um, if we don't, we'll make it in another one. So um, it's 11.39 right now. I'm going to write that time down. So I know. Anyway, this is just um, in one of the little kits that I bought. Um, I have a lot of places listed below that have bee kits. I am not using all of those bee kits in this. I'm only using um, three, I believe. So... Um, but that's just a list to help you out. Um, anyway, this is a cute little bee uh, honey jar that came in one of them. And I just think it's really adorable. And it folded up quite neatly. And I need to just sew it together or get my long stapler and staple it together. Either one. So I put that in this little pocket down here. And then I was a little off on my uh, paper here, and it kind of showed, you could tell it was crooked. So all I did was put a little uh, tuck pocket on here, tuck spot. And this is um, from one of the other pieces of ephemera we made, where I just folded the paper over. And it's just a little journaling spot right there. Now, I have not inked everything up. Um, I'm saving that for when I'm off camera. And so you don't have to live through all that. <laughs> but in here, I have taken some little cards that I have. Um, they actually went with these envelopes. And I've had them for, I don't know, a long time. It's a, a whole box of them. And I seriously am trying to use up things that I have in my craft room. I'm shopping at home right now. Um, 
if I get a chance to go to a craft store, I'm going. And I'll probably buy something. But um, I am trying to use a lot of these things. And I was actually going to send these off to uh, somebody that might need them. And I thought, no, you bought them. You're using them, lady. And so here I am today using them. You see, I have a whole slew of them in there. So I cut them down to fit these little pockets. Now something is catching up on them in there and I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh, I see it. It's part of the envelope back there. So I have to make sure when I um, glue down the next ones that they are glued down securely. So there's one, and I need to put pull tabs on these, two, oh. and three. So just some more journaling spots to put things in. I can't get my thumbnail in there. I don't know. <laughs> it's trying to make me be silly. So there it is. And I do want to round the corners and add a decorative elements on the front of these, but nothing too thick. I want to keep it as flat as possible. Now, underneath this beauty is as a belly band. I'll turn it this way so you can see it on both sides. Now I made this one a little too wide. It's four and a half inches wide plus this envelope size on each one. Um, so the next one we make is only going to be I believe three and a half but we'll look at it when we when we get to it there. Okay so let's go and figure out what we're going to do with the next one and, and get busy on it. It's going to be basically the same. The pockets are going to be smaller, the flips. So let me put that over there and bring this one over. And I've moved things around a bit. And we're going to put it on this end page for right now, but we'll probably move it back towards the center somewhere. So the first thing I did was took a piece of this scrap um, parchment paper that I have. I think you call it parchment. And I measured it off at three and a half inches. Yeah, three and a half. And then I folded it on that line, or you can use your scoreboard. And then I just drew a line and scored it down. And I'm just going to tuck that inside to make it a little stronger. You, if you want, you can flip it over. That would be fine. Okay, so then I measured the length of my piece here, and I want to cut that off right down there. So let's get the trimmer. And we'll trim this off. It's here and here. That should be enough. Let's see if I if I made it or if it's still just slightly too long. Slightly too long. So I looked at my YouTube numbers today and I started losing numbers. So I had to go check and see what was going on. Um, apparently, from time to time, YouTube purges um, people that are subscribed to channels. And they do that to get rid of um, spam. And they do that because maybe you haven't visited the, the page enough or something like that. So. Um, <clears throat> if you notice that 
you're not subscribed to me, please resubscribe. It's not that I've canceled you or anything. It's that YouTube has um, pulled you off my list. And so I would appreciate that. I just, I lost four subscribers in a matter of minutes. And um, it was very alarming. I know it's not that many, but when you're a video creator, the numbers are just important so that you can remain a, a video creator. And I love to do this. And if I'm doing something wrong and you're unsubscribing, please let me know. Um, what's what's up so that I'll be aware of how to better care for my channel okay so we're going to start on this envelope and I've measured it just right on here and I put a mark at three and a half inches and then I just slice the whole thing off I left this folded down like this and I just sliced it off and then I slice the other two that are going with it okay or trimmed whatever you want to say so the first thing we're going to do is decorate this up and make it so that it works so what I wanted to show you to do first and I didn't do it the first time is you're going to take a scrap piece of paper and fold it in half or whatever you want to do cut a special one that's it that's fine too and you're actually going to insert it in here. And then you're going to make a mark right here. And just a mark down below the fold line. Just maybe a sixteenth of an inch below the fold line. And then we're going to trim that little piece off. Okay, put that in your scrap pile. Looks like it can be used. I'm not worried about this extra piece here. It's going to get glued down to my envelope. So this envelope is going to go this way. And I want, when this is open, for these words to be going the correct direction. I don't think I did that on the other one, but I would like to on this one. So I'll shake up my glue that over there and let's just glue this down and there we go so it looks just like that now I am going to ink this side up a little bit because it's a lot harder to ink once it's in the pocket okay so now you're going to Take this piece from that line that you made and you're going to put glue on the bottom part of the pocket. Just like that. And then you're going to carefully insert it on this part that has the, on the side that has the flap. And you're going to line it up right there and this is just giving your envelope a better look okay just like that so when you open it it's going to look like that it'll just make it look nicer when especially since we're going to do a thumb notch here okay so we have that part now since we recognized before that this flap came up a little bit, let's check that and make sure that it is glued down all the way. Because you know envelopes are, have a mind of their own. So there we go. That's glued down now. Okay, now don't glue this down to this. Leave it up there. And then right back here, I've cut a piece to fit the back of this envelope. Looks like it. maybe I cut it too small. So let's see. 
I might be able to even it up there a little bit. Oh yeah, it'll be okay. Yeah. Okay, let me move these out of the way. And what I did here was I brought my glue book over because this glue does dry quite fast. I love that glue. Um, but it does dry quite fast. So I'm going to just do the this part of the envelope a little bit with that. And now I'm going to go around the edges. And we're going to go across the top here. Then we're going to come down this way. This is just getting glue all the way to the edge. Going to come across here and around here. And because we've added this piece, we can now glue it down as well. Okay. Oh, don't glue that to there. No, 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 no. This gets glued to here. I don't know why I glued up there. Oh, I didn't. I just, um, <laughs> oh, guys, help. Okay, right here. Now, this piece right here. I've cut another small piece that should measure this length here, and it doesn't, so I'm going to mark it here and just cut it off. And let's see. Gotta think about which way this is going. It is going to go that way. Okay. All right, so we're going to take this piece. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give it some glue on the inside. And I feel like I can go ahead and glue close to the edges on this one. So I think I'll be okay. And then we're just going to cover it. It doesn't have to come all the way down. But I'm going to cover it, most of it, and try and line the papers up. Let's see, this one needs to be glued back down. Okay. And I do find this does help. I don't know why it's sticking up there. I guess it I must have not got it down quick enough. Okay. So we have those two parts. Now let's flip it back over and we're going to decorate this part. And I have made this little piece to go here. Now you don't want it to go over the edge up there. So if it's a little long, we can trim that off. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's going to be a little long. So I'm just going to give it a quick little trim here. Because it's a, I don't want to cut the bottom of my envelope off and have a big open part of my envelope again. Okay. Now to um, 
going to ink this just a little bit. And I want to ink this right here. Reason is, is because those are the pieces I won't be able to ink once it's in the in the band. Okay. So again with the glue. And then around the edges. Make sure we have it going towards the top. And I'm going to apply that piece of paper. Now, if you can still see some of your flap under here, this is a good time to go ahead and trim that flap off a little bit. I'm just using it because it's actually going to help me measure. It's going to tell me where to where to um, apply things in my on my band. Okay, so we have our first flip done except for the thumb notch and we will do the thumb notch after it dries because right now it wouldn't do us any good. Okay, let's go to piece number two. Let's see, where is it? Is this the second one? No, I have already glued these in. Um, that might be the third one. Yeah, here's the second one. Okay, let me put this one back up there. Okay. So once again, we are going to glue this back part. We're going to glue this little tab and around this part. And then a little bit up on this tab thing we made. And from there, we're going to glue around these edges. I'll make sure I get inside there. Forgot to check it. Along this edge. Any place you didn't get glue. And on this little tab thing that we made, it's not really a tab, it's just the base of the, and then right, try to get right below that line. I'm on it, so. Um, this is the back part, which is, which is, hey, where'd my back part go? I'll have to use that one, I guess. Okay, so this is putting the back of the envelope on. This will be your journaling spot. Hmm, sure don't know what happened to the piece I had over there. And then it's going to open on one side, we hope. It's a little glued together right now, except for up there where it should be. It does need to be glued right there. What I'm finding is my coffee dyed paper is not wanting to glue down very well. 
It's almost like I need to put a paper clip on it or something. Uh, the other thing you could do though is you could put washi tape here and that would work. Okay, so there's that part. Oh, there it was. I'll put that with the other one. And then we have this to apply to right here. And you want it to go up to the line. It doesn't need to come all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to use the glue this time. It's faster. Um, the reason I don't always like to use the art glitter glue on the whole thing is a lot of times with the coffee dyed papers it will show a line through it. It just um, it just activates the coffee dye or the dye in the paper. Okay, so there's the back of that one. Let's make sure our pocket gets opened here a little bit. There we go. And now we need to apply our um, piece of paper here. And you want to make sure that this is, um, that the writing's going the correct direction. So it opens this way, but this writes this way. Okay. Just ink that top. And ink that inside. And then around the world, here we go. my paper and right here I can see it's too long I don't want to cut the envelope if I do we'll just seal it back up <laughs> it's that simple See if we opened it. No, I made it. Okay, well, I'm just going to put that in there. There we go. Well, that's better. Okay. So there it is. There's our second one. Now I can also see that this is sticking out a little bit beyond here and I don't really want it to do that so I'm just going to trim that off a little bit and go back over it with that ink. Okay, let's let this one dry. Now we've got this journaling area. Okay, so this one. We are going to decorate the back first. So we'll do this again. I'm just going to use a art glitter glue this time and hope it dries completely. I hope it doesn't dry completely is what I meant to say. 
before we get get this done before we get it all glued and then this piece and then I think probably the best way to handle this would be to go ahead and just do the top of this and that will seal it down up here because we don't want to completely seal our envelope closed There we go. Much better. That was better. A lot better. Okay, right here, we're going to put this one on. And just lining up the edge. If it pokes out, then we'll trim it. Okay, so there is the back and the journaling spot. And I did go over the edge a little bit there, so I may have to washi tape that. And I can see it's all sticking out right here. So I'm just going to come along and trim it. This is the side that opens, so you can trim it just about as much as you want. Okay, so just going to give that a little fold there. Yeah, see where it, where it popped up there. Let me put this in there, then I'll see where it, where it's at. Yeah, I went over it. That's okay. I'll probably just have to put washi tape in there. Or you could just take um, a piece of this and put it in there if you wanted. You know, a little piece. It'll need something, otherwise it's just going to keep coming up. So we're just going to try this. Fold this in half. I don't have any washi tape right here. And let's see, from there to here. Okay, so what we'll do is put that right in there. I mean, why not? We might as well. I'm just going to run that glue right there where I made the mistake. And here. And you could go through and do this. It would all it's going to do is strengthen up your envelopes. You know, and make it so they don't tear. going to fold it over to try and get that in that line there. And there we go. That just makes it a little bit stronger. There we go. It works just fine. Now I had originally cut 
a small space. Oh, I know. It was for this other side. Let's see if we still need it. I think we will since I just made my envelope a little bit taller. So making sure this is going the correct direction. Yes, I had just a small piece of paper to use here. So I made a little tuck spot to put on it. Right there. So let's go ahead and add this. Get off some pencil lines. You know, I've been feeling kind of bad about the length of my videos, but I have to say, um, when I hit an hour on my videos, I, I try to stop it right there within minutes. But um, a lot of times the reason my videos are so long is that I am taking the time to let you, um, let you know how to make the item well. You know, I, I am actually taking extra time to um, put things together carefully. Now, I can still see this edge along here, and it's going to drive me nuts. So, I'm going to take a piece of this paper, if I can find another piece. And I think what I'll do is tear it just like that. And we'll just put it over it just like that, and that'll cover that edge. It was a smaller piece that I had, so um, I just, you know, using extras to fix it up. I try to set little goals for myself with projects and such, and a lot of times I try to make myself use up a whole kit so I don't have to store it, and then I just have to reprint it, you know. But I do have some extras this time, so um, so they'll go into a, a one of those plastic folders and. They'll be, now I can see that that's not long enough either now, so toss that one aside. Let's go here. This one is, but that is not going to be big enough. Maybe it was one of these. Here we go. Let's use this one. Okay. So all you do, really, is come in here and apply all your glue and just fold this over and you're just using up some of your scraps and you're making them stronger by folding them over and that makes a great tuck spot. I like the honey on there so I'm going to leave that and then we're going to cut it here and right there. With these long scissors you can kind of gauge a straight line between two points. Or at least I think. <laughs> okay. Inking up the top, inking up the sides and the bottom. And then all you do is glue on three sides. So just a quick way to make the most of your papers.
Okay, now this brings us back to this piece. So let's glue this together. this down a half an inch and this up half of an inch. It's so that I can apply this trim, this lacy trim. Okay, I'm not going to do that until I get these on. So what I did was I took envelope number one and I lined it up right on this line and I put glue on this part including that little flap that sticks out there okay and then I laid it right by that line, right up against it. Made sure this lined up on both sides and press that down. And then, oh boy, I had some glue in there. Good thing I saw that. I see it made a little owie there. You can see I got a little corner here that didn't get adhered. My glue must have gotten a little chilled last night. I can see this sticks out. That must be why. It was coming apart so I would know it. Okay, this is our bottom pocket. So let's put this in here first. We're not gluing it down yet. And then this one is going to go in here. Now remember we have this half inch line here that we're going to bring it down to. So what we need to do now is line these up so they are have some you know about the same distance in them. So about like that, I suppose. So what I did was I drew a line up here. And this is where this one is going to go to. And then, so let's put that there. Hold this piece. And then this is going to be about equal. What's that one? I hope. There we go. Yeah, see they're about equal distance. Right there. And that's why I left the flap on. Plus it gave more writing area. Okay, so we're going to glue this down. I'm running out of glue. I don't even know if I have any more. I'll have to look. Okay, we're going to line that up there, but most importantly, we want it lined up along these edges before we press it down. And there we go. Okay. And 
and we're going to do the same way with this one. So anyway, I'm not going to fuss with my time. I've been worried about it. And, you know, a lot of people make one hour videos. A lot of people make 30 minute videos or 15 minute videos. And they edit. They edit, edit, edit. And that's fine. I don't even mind editing except for it takes a great deal of time. And I have other things I really want to do other than edit. So sometimes I will try to edit it down if it's, you know, over an hour. I try to bring it back to the one hour mark at least. Okay. We're there. Now, open this piece up and you need to apply a journaling card here. So let's see what we have. Um, I know I have some paper. And we'll just take some leftovers here. I'm going to bring it all the way to the bottom. Don't really need to though, because we are going to put the lace on there. And add this one right there. Might be using my Elmer's glue soon. I didn't try as fast as this one. Oh, I have tacky. Aileen's tacky glue, too. I have all kinds of glues over there. <laughs> I just don't know if they work. Okay. I'm just going to bring it clear down to the bottom. Okay, there is that. Now, let's see. Um, we want to apply this to both sections, upper and lower. This has a sticky tape on the back that really doesn't work very well. It looks, you can see it through the lace too much. So from there to there, I'll have to cut that off a little bit, I think. Oh, talk about cutting things off. I need to cut these little machine strings off where it's been attached to the machines that made it. I think it looks a little better if you do that. That's coming down. Let's put the cap on that. Let's flip those up. Hmm. Let's flip them back down because that's right, I covered that up. Now we can lift it up. Okay. Dry up some of that glue a little bit. And then take a look at it, and if it's crooked, straighten it out. Now's the time. There we go. I guess that will have to do. 
Okay. So there we go. There's the bottom. And then I put one up here as well. I'm just going to cut it a little long. Cut off that little piece. This was cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Got a whole bunch of it on sale. Big bag. It was on Amazon. Okay. Now this one I can't lift up, but I also have a line right here to glue this right down. I should have done that the first time down there. But I didn't. This one will be much easier to place. And much easier to trim off. Okay, let's apply it to our page. Oh, wait, wait, hold the ponies. I need a thumb notch. And I am just going to eyeball where I want it to be. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. <laughs> Sometimes this does not want to go in there very far. Okay, so... I don't know. Let's say right about there. It's a little low, but that's okay. It's hard to gauge where you're going to put a pocket. Should have looked at it from the top. Right about there. Right about there, I guess. Doesn't really matter. They're all uneven, but there we go. So now we have a notch area in each one to remove um, our little cards we're going to put in it. But first let's glue this down. And we're going to use that half inch mark up there to um, give it some good glue to glue it down solid. I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm not going to just do a little line. I'm going to go ahead and give it lots to hold it down. And go towards the um, right side more or uh, very centered because you don't want it to um, end up in the spine. Okay? So, to make these cards, all I did was I figured out how big they could be. They can be this big. And how wide. I left a little room at the back. And just came in and cut it off. So I cut this part off. And I cut the bottom off. And 
And there is one. And I'll put tabs on these. And we need to make the next one. They'll all actually be the same size. You don't have to make them the same size. You can make them smaller and bigger and bigger and smaller. Whatever you'd like. I just wanted to cut this piece off mostly. Um, not that it matters. I just, you know, I'm going to decorate it so I don't need the other piece on it. Here's this one. Mm, I didn't get an envelope put down in there. Yeah, I didn't get that envelope glued all the way down. This one. <coughs> Excuse me. Every once in a while I get a little tickle in my throat. And these all the we have um cottonwood trees and we say we say the cotton the cottonwood is blowing or something like that and boy Everybody seems to, <laughs> you know, get the same effect from it. But they're, it's beautiful. It's just fuzzy cotton looking stuff that comes off the trees. And it's beautiful. Okay, so there we are. And then you just want to fill your other pockets if you have them. Um, I did put a pocket down here on the first one. You can do that. You can make a tag pocket in here or whatever. Here's this extra piece. You could put it in and make a pocket. So there's all kinds of things you can do with these. Then let's put this back on our journal. Right now it's the back page. I will probably move it around towards the center because you can see that it's taking up a lot of space. Okay, so when we come back for our next video, um, we will have the um, topper to make for our front cover. So um, I don't have I don't have a cover story yet. Um, I don't have an idea for um, putting this in binding yet. So maybe I should think about that before I come back and then we can get it uh, bound up and then do the cover. I'm definitely going to take some of the um, if there's any fancy ones left. I've only made four four items going both directions so a total of eight pages are decorated and the rest are all um, journaling or for the person who gets this to decorate one two three four yep so a total of eight things that we've created together. And I think that's good. I think that is really good. Um, the only other thing that I might do is come back in and add some pockets or something like that. Just, um, just pockets like this or corner pockets or, you know, um, maybe a tuck on the side. So, but I'll keep you updated on that part. Um, so I'm going to think about the signature and then I will come back with that idea and um, a cover. Then, we, then we'll do the, the topper. Okay, I think I've got it figured out. Thanks for talking that through with me. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. I hope that you've been enjoying this. And don't forget to like and subscribe and if you if you got unsubscribed I, I hope you'll come back as a subscriber 
Um, so anyway, I don't. I'm not going to worry about it anymore today. I, I was worried about it, but like my husband said, just ignore the numbers and just have fun. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I will talk to you soon. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I hope that whether rain or shine, that you can find joy in your day and um, just, I don't know, just just enjoy it, you know. That's what I'm, I'm doing every day. I'm enjoying every day. The doctor told me when I got my infusion, you need to get out there and enjoy every single day. Don't let COVID keep you, you know, in your house. Just get out there and go. Do things. I think it's right. That's what I got to do. Because I, you know, ended up with COVID anyway, and I'd been in the house forever. <laughs> Not doing that anymore. So, anyway, I will talk to you later, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.